In this video, we're gonna optimize John's Upwork profile. If you want your Upwork profile optimized and for me to do a review video on it, all you need to do is click the link below in the description, go sign up for my new course, Upwork Mastery, and I'll give you a review as well if you're one of the next 50 to sign up. So let's go through his profile and see what can be tweaked and changed so that he can get more eyeballs on it and more clients on Upwork. So far he has a great start, right? He has 100% job success, top rated plus. Um, I, I love being able to, to look at a variety of different profiles, some that are barely beginning, some that are have some history and have some success but are looking to get to the next level. Um, because the, the question for somebody like this is, what would need to change about a freelancer in this position who's trying to take things to the next level, get more invites, get more clients, but he already has some success? And is his profile effective or is it mostly his proposals? You know, maybe his profile is fine. Let's, let's discover uh, what he needs most. So he says dashboard design, web design, product designer, Figma expert. Okay, so he, you know, he overall the job title's fine if this is... If he wants to find jobs for dashboard design the most, then it's fine that that's first. Web design is a more general uh, category that he has now second, and then product designer Figma expert. Um, so that's really up to him. He just has to decide what does he want to show up for the most and make sure that that is first. Um, you know, going down to work history, about us page redesign Figma expert, um, to support web marketing, a website, expert designer for web app design, web developer. Some of these recent jobs, so far I don't see anything listing dashboard design. So maybe because of the clients you've had recently that are more in the general web design category, there was one for Figma, that maybe you reorganize this job title a little bit to, to chase who is hiring you and to get more clients just like that. Um, Sometimes you want to avoid doing more than four, three as well. Like right here, you have four different labels. Uh, usually best to just stick with three. So if you do want to cut one of these and stick with three of them, that's something you just need to look at. Um, but overall in your world, you know, it's fine to just keep it very SEO friendly, just as describing exactly what you do. Hello, my name is John Kiefer. You don't need to spend this valuable real estate introducing your name. We already know that. The client will know that by seeing your uh, prof just the preview of your profile. You don't want to waste any words in this first sentence because this is what Upwork is going to show in the preview when the clients are scanning through profiles. So get rid of hello, I'm John Kiefer, um, I'm a web designer and UI UX design consultant with over 15 years in web product design, helping small and large startup businesses find success online as a creative designer. Um, that runs on a little long for the first sentence. Specialized in design is everything similar. Okay, this is a fine supportive sentence just outlining what you specialize in. With this first sentence, um, now this might be something you consider putting in your job title, UI UX design consultant. Um, if you're trying to consult, related to that and you want more clients with that or just see what jobs are being posted the most for and consider putting that in your job title. Um, again, you don't need to say things like I am a because that's already clear in your job title. You really want to focus that first sentence on what the client's goal is. I help small and large startup businesses find success online by creating a website that attracts viewers, visitors, increases conversions. Start thinking about the benefit that your clients experience when they pay for your services and then start your profile with highlighting those benefits. Um, just reiterating what you are, that you already say that in your job title. Um, it, you're just wasting the space here that it, you're, 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 you, this first sentence needs to really grab the client's attention 
by showing them that you care and you're well aware of their main goal. Why would they hire a web designer? What do they need from that? How's it going to help their business grow? Those are the kinds of things. It's that client's goal that needs to be highlighted in that first sentence to show that you understand the end result of what you're doing and not just that this is what I do. Um, so I would rework that a bit in that way. Okay, and this is fine. Just listing out more details of your specialty and the technical skills that you have. What I can provide to assist you in finding success with your project goals. One on communication. That's fine because some freelancers work through somebody else or an agency. So clickable prototype wireframes, good. This is nice and specific to what you do. That's part of your deliverable. Okay, yeah, this is all fine because this just kind of gives a good summary of uh, the unique value that you provide in your deliverables. Um, so yeah, really the most work in your about description is the first part and that first part is the most important. Um, now because you have this and you have this, I would consolidate this into one section. Um, so there, there's, there's just some organizational issues here with, here's some unique things you provide as part of your deliverable. Here is more like some claiming to have certain soft skills, um, ability to create wide of wireframes and prototypes, prototypes. And then you say again, clickable prototype wireframes. So there's some redundancy there. These two sections, I think, just need to be consolidated into one clean section that really go into the unique value you provide and, and some more details of, you know, five or six details of what is a part of your deliverables. That plus reworking that first sentence um, should send you on your way uh, to getting more views on your profile. And then with your um, portfolio, you have quite a few pages here, so that's good. You're showing um, some dashboard design stuff you've done. So I guess my question for you is, and maybe you can comment on the video, um, your portfolio does show some more stuff related to dashboard design. And if that's something you really want to be your top specialty, or maybe that's a niche that's not overly competitive, then that's great that you have that first and that's fine. Um, that's just something you have to evaluate. So yeah, you've got good visuals here of what you've done. Your looks like you have a pretty extensive portfolio, many pages here, good. You want lots of pages for them to go through, especially with stuff like web design. And if there's anything that shows the results, any analytics and graphs that show the result of your web designs, definitely include those in your portfolio. And yeah, and you've, you have these other sections filled out fine. And then the other thing missing would be a video. Um, I'll always say that to any freelancer that doesn't have a video, make a video. Um, so the client can connect with who you are, your personality, your energy, and, uh, also, it provides you an opportunity to teach something about what you do and show that you really know your craft and also are willing to provide value in that video itself. It can be two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Mine's about seven minutes um, on my profile. So not a lot of freelancers are going through the effort to make a video. If all you have is your web, I'm shooting this video with a webcam on my computer and a hundred dollar microphone it doesn't take much. I mean, I shoot videos on my phone too. It doesn't take much to create a high quality video these days. You don't have to hire a production crew. You don't have to have a fancy camera. You don't have to hire a video editor. You just turn on the camera and talk, make sure the lighting's fairly decent and you have good sound, which honestly your iPhone can pick up pretty good sound and uh, just get something up there. Um, and if you want to spend some money hiring an editor to just throw in some some visuals then all the better but something is better than nothing when it comes to having a video on there and it does make a difference and it's something you can point a client to in your proposals and it will help you stand out 
So that's it for today's video. Again, if you want your Upwork profile reviewed, be sure to click the link in the description to the Upwork Mastery course. It's only $37 right now for the next 50 that sign up, and I will offer you a free Upwork profile review along with it. All right, have a good day.